What's up, dude? Let's start by getting one thing straight. Just because a recipe is easy doesn't mean it's not a winner. Today, I'm on a mission to recreate and review three of TikTok's most viral holiday appetizers to see if they really live up to the internet hype. Now let's go. Our first recipe today is these brie cranberry wonton bites. Let's check this video out. And it's over. I guess that was a fast video. All right, we're gonna do our best with that one. They look pretty good, let's see. Given that short length, these have to be extremely easy, right? So first I'm spraying my little muffin trays with oil. I don't think they did that, but I'm doing it. Wonton wrappers, right? You can buy them in any supermarket straight in. I mean, that's just unbelievably simple. You'll usually find them in the refrigerated section. Next, some brie cheese. I just cut it up a little bit. Two little pieces. My God, this barely, this is, this is barely, this is barely classified as cooking. Does that, does that make sense? I'm doing things with my hands, but I'm not cooking. I, I'm just, my hands are just doing things. I didn't do anything. Now listen, this is just a can of cranberry sauce, which made a real gross noise. <laughs> oh! Nice little dollop on top, just like this. I like crunchy, crispy wontons. I'm not a huge fan of brie, but I, I like it, it's not bad. And I do love cranberry sauce, actually. So, let's see. Since they didn't give any times or temperatures, I'm just gonna bake these at 350. I'll give you the timing when they come out. That's 20 minutes for my wontons. They look done to me, nice and crispy around the edges. I'm definitely gonna let these cool down for a bit. For our second recipe, we're doing this viral cranberry holiday crack dip. That's what they called it, all right? Looks say, all right, looks like it has a bunch of fresh herbs, some jalapeno, cranberry sugar, lemon juice, salt, cream cheese, and then you dip a little cracker, a little cracker takes a little swim. I can see how that could be good. Let's give it a shot. I'm gonna start with the frozen cranberries. Couldn't find ocean spray. I don't know how much of a difference it's gonna make. And upon further review of their video, I could see they're chopped up a little bit. They didn't mention that, but I'm definitely not gonna do them whole because we want them to bleed. <laughs> I'm gonna stick mine in a food processor, keep it really simple, and just pulse it up a little bit. And there we go, they're just roughly chopped up, still a little bit chunky. I'm gonna add the green onion, which I just sliced up. The cilantro, same deal, just chopped it up. And the jalapenos, which I mostly used the edge, but also a little bit of the inside where it was spicier. In we go with the lemon juice. I know that's an orange looking lemon, it's a Meyer lemon. Just remember, if you're poor, you can use a regular lemon, that's fine. Regular lemon will also be just fine. White sugar, and they didn't specify the amount in their recipe, so I just went with a half cup. Looks about right to me. And last but not least, a little bit of salt. About a teaspoon going in. I will put this recipe down in the description along with the other two. And here we go. All we're supposed to do with this is mix it up and then let it sit in the fridge for 24 hours, which is a long time. I'm just gonna do a few hours. I'm sure we'll get a good effect out of it. And it's almost like you're making macerated berries, so that lemon juice and the sugar, everything will eventually turn into a liquid. This is interesting. This is something I would never ever make, but if it's good, I'm gonna tell you it's good. My cranberries have been sitting for a few hours now. As you can see, they're nice and juicy. I think you could definitely get away with doing that if you don't wanna do it overnight. Although doing things the day before always does make a difference. The next thing we need to use is Philadelphia whipped cream cheese, which I've never actually tried. I feel like you're just paying for air with this stuff. If it were up to me, I would whip my own cream cheese just with a whisk or with a KitchenAid stand mixer. Let's try this aerated cow utter cream. Not a big fan of that texture. I feel like if you whipped it yourself, it would be a little bit nicer, to be honest. But hey, guys, I'm a snob. I'm a snob. I'm gonna spread it out in a little dish here. And here we go. Cover it with your cranberry mix. It's literally that easy. I mean, this isn't gonna be bad, is it? But how good is it gonna be? How good could it be? I like the way it looks when you can see a little bit of the uh, cream cheese around the edges there. I'm gonna leave it like that. Before we get into this third and final recipe, let me introduce you to today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible. And they know it can be a real challenge to find a therapist that really suits you in your specific area. With BetterHelp, you can have therapy through phone calls, video chats, or messaging. You can really do whatever suits your therapy needs best. And you can schedule those sessions at a time that's really convenient for you. By answering a few simple questions, BetterHelp can match you with a professional therapist that is trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. I can speak from personal experience here after doing therapy for three years that it is a total game changer in my life. If you're ready to start your journey with a therapist, click the link down in the description. Not only does it support this channel, but it will also give you a 10% discount off your first month with BetterHelp. Remember, finding the right therapist is crucial, and so if you don't click with your first match, no worries. BetterHelp lets you switch to a new therapist 
therapist at no extra cost. Asking for help is truly empowering. And in the spirit of that, I really recommend you give BetterHelp a shot. Again, just click the link down in the description. Thanks again to BetterHelp for your positive impact in the world. And thank you for supporting this channel. Now let's get back to the recipe. Our third recipe are these holiday bacon crackers. I guess you're supposed to serve this as an appetizer around this time of year. Seems like what we're doing here is just putting bacon on a cracker. Seems simple enough, right? And then brown sugar, oh yeah. Everything a human craves, my friends. Fat, sugar, now salt with the barbecue rub, and then some crushed red pepper for spice. Those look like you can't eat one of them. It looks impossible to eat one. All right, all right, we'll give them a shot. Let's see how it goes. First of all, I have never in my life tried a club cracker. I don't know, Marcus, my cameraman, was telling me that's crazy. So, let's see, looks good. <laughs> it's just a cracker, dude. It's not just a cracker, this is awesome. This is like a Ritz. Are they owned by the same company? Hold on, I got a Ritz right over here. Hold on a second. Club, okay. Ritz. Ritz are still a little bit better. A little flakier, a little more flavor, but these aren't bad. All right. Let's lay out our crackers, putting it on a sheet pan line with a rack, just like my guy with the cool accent did. I love his accent. What do you say? It's like barbecue, man. That's barbecue bacon. It's so funny because I would never think to like re-bake a cracker, you know what I'm saying? But hey, here we are. The bacon here, I went for a thinner slice, as he said. And all I did was cut it four times, which perfectly fits these little club crackers. And I'm just gonna begin baconing it up. I love when these things happen while you're cooking. Four rows of crackers, four rows of bacon, and every single row of bacon matches the row of crackers. Meaning when I put this out, gone. I, that's just, that's, for me, that's awesome. I think I got a little bit of OCD, maybe a, a, little, a little peppering of ADHD for sure. But that makes me happy, it makes me very happy. Next step, we just sprinkle with a little bit of brown sugar. I don't know, looks like about like half a teaspoon per. Don't worry about it, you know, you're not going for healthy when you're making this. This is a holiday treat. You know what, quite frankly, that you deserve. You've had a tough life. You got a bad roll. My big brother beat me up, okay? And I didn't like it either. But look at me, I rose up like a phoenix from the ashes, became a champion. Now I make more money than him. Next step, a little bit of barbecue seasoning, barbecue rub, whatever you got. You could use smoked paprika, you could use another spice. I just have a mix, so I'm doing that straight on. I mean, these are gonna be crispy, sweet, spicy, salty, crunchy. These can't be bad. And he also does a little bit of red pepper flake, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that too. A little spice, a little extra spice. Makes everything nice. Next step, bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes. Bon voyage. And that's 25 minutes for the bacon. For me, these could go maybe another five, 10 minutes. I don't know, I'm gonna put them back in. The bacon just feels like it could be a little crispier. There we go, another seven minutes, and I'm gonna leave them just like this. Bacon feels crispy. Obviously, they need to cool down. That's when they're gonna get their full crunch. They smell amazing, I can't wait to try. What's amazing about this is now the cracker is soaked in bacon fat. Again, it's not a salad, is it? But it's gonna be good. All right, Marcus, let's try this out. Starting with the wontons. I'll tell you what, I cooked these for 20 minutes. They don't feel very crispy. I don't know, there was no instructions on the video, so. It's hard to teach people to cook in six seconds. You guys really want to, oh man, we're out of time. The cheese and the sauce go well. Look, they're not bad, but they're missing that crunch on the bottom. Everything's kind of flat. I wouldn't make those again, to be honest. I would give those like a 5.9 out of 10 for me. You know. I was gonna say six. But I like the don't cheese. Don't six me, I, I 5.9, you six me. I bring them to a six. Jesus I like Christ. the middle. Next, the bacon crackers. We've been frothing for these. We've been frothing for these. These I'm excited about. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I just took one bite of it. As I was taking the bite, my brain was like, grab the next one. It was lit I was literally focusing in on the next one. That's a good sign. Yeah, these are great. I think I want maybe something sharp to cut it. I mean, they're delicious. It's not like you always need fat and acid, but something a little acidic on here could be good. Even a little balsamic reduction. But on their own, I mean, the bacon is crunchy. It is sweet, but you also have the salt to kind of counteract that, which is nice. The cracker is saturated in bacon fat. You'd eat 35 of these you before would, you like. You really would. On its own, just as it is, these are really good. I would give them like an 8.4 out of 10. I think you could get it up into the low nines with some acidity though. That could really set it off. I give it an eight. Very addicting. Very, very addicting. Keep writing things lower than me. I'm no, I went higher than you last time. Here we go with the cranberry dip. 
Cranberry. I could see this being popular at a party. I would just whip my own cream cheese instead of the aerated stuff. I'm just not a huge fan of that. But I like the spice. The spicy, sweet, and sour really go well together here. I wouldn't say, oh my God, I need to make this again right now. Although it's definitely solid. Anyone who makes this is not gonna have a bad experience. I would give that like a, I'd give it like a solid 7.5. Yeah, I agree. 7.5 is good. It's good, it's not the best thing we made. These win. Watch this. Bacon cracker, cranberry on top. That's a little bit of sourness. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. If you guys like this, let us know. We'll test out some more viral recipes for you. Thanks for watching today, my friends. I just released an ebook called Master in the Making that has 55 of my top recipes. I would definitely go check that out. I will put a link for it down in the description. And if you want to keep learning today, here are two more holiday forward recipes from my own channel that I know you are going to enjoy. Until next time, you know I love you and I'm